all right guys let's talk about tournaments let's talk about knockout tournaments in specific okay very important question when it comes to cat snap something like zat okay and recently even nmar started asking questions on tournaments especially the knockout tournaments okay uh now the tournaments obviously are of various types one is knockout one is round robin one can be any like like you can have something like a ranked tournament where you have ranks of players given to you etc etc so here today in this video i'm going to show you one of the problems which is a knockout tournament a question is asked in snap 2000 Ten, uh, eleven. You can just check it back and uh, cat in the online modes of it. Okay, very important question. Very nice question. I recommend you pause this video, but try to answer and try to think about it and exactly note the time taken. Okay, because this is a cakewalk kind of a question. Okay, you must be doing this question like in merely like you know I would say around ten seconds or five seconds per question. Let's see. So have a look at this question. There are 200 teams participating in a knockout tournament where they form groups and play against each other. So in round one, there'll be 100 teams in each group. So in round one, we'll have 100 teams in each group. Group one will have 100 teams. Group two will have 100 teams. Okay, and they'll play against each other. So definitely, they'll have 100 winners. That's what they say. Okay, resulting in 100 winners. Round two, they'll have now these 100 winners that you'll get. You'll divide them into 50, 50 each, and again they'll play against each other and they'll have 50 winners. In the next round, you'll have 25, 25, and you'll have 25 winners. In the next round, you'll have 12, 12. Oh, actually, in the next round, 25 cannot be divided equally. So there must be a condition. So there's a condition if there's an odd number of teams in any round, one team is selected random and granted a buy. So in 25, we'll select one of them and give that team an advantage to move to the next round directly. Okay. Uh, the tournament continues till the winner is decided. No matches end in a draw. How many matches must be played to decide the winner? There are questions now. First question: How many matches? Second: How many rounds? And third: How many buys? Okay. Very important question. Please pause this video and try to solve it now. Okay. Coming back. Welcome back. Let's talk. So this is how you'll do it. So 200 teams. Usually people do it this way. They do is like group one, group two, winners and buys. Okay. So 200 teams. You have 100 in group one, 100 in group two, 100 winners, no buy. Then you'll have 50, 50, 50 winners and no buy. Okay, I'm just keep I just keep dividing this. So this is round one, this is round two, and this is round three. You'll have 25, 25, 25 winners, no buy. And then round four, you'll have 12, 12, 1 winner. I mean, sorry, 12 winners and one buy. Okay, so you can keep doing this. You'll get the answer for all three questions, but you'll probably take around two to three minutes, or maybe one and a half minutes at the max, one minute. Okay. A very stupid way of solving this question. Okay, never solve this question in this manner because this question can be solved actually in at a speed of you won't believe this at a speed of one second per question. All right, let's let me explain this to you how. First question. Okay, now there are 200 teams. Think about it. There are 200 teams at the knockout tournament. What do you mean by knockout tournament? If you lose, you're out. Okay, so if you want one winner, how many losses do you need? You need to have 199 losses. Okay, now each loss will have actually one match. One match will result in one loss. So the answer is 199 matches. So you can take any number you want. If there are let's say four, 306 seven people, seven teams, you'll take 306 matches. Okay, precisely because if you want one winner, you have to eliminate the rest. All right. The next question. Okay, for the buys and rounds, I recommend stick to this method. Take the number 200, number of teams that you have. Keep dividing by 200, 50. I'll take a little right. 25. Now, 25 cannot be divided, so we'll use seal function. Seal function is basically 12 and a half. 25 by 2 is 12 and a half. We'll go to the next number, 13. So 13. Now 6 and a half, so 7. 3 and a half, so 4. And then 2, and then 1. Now keep in mind, this one guy, this guy is the winner. Okay. So let's count the number of rounds to reach the winner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So the number of rounds is 8 rounds. All right. And you want to count the number of buys? Buys is very simple again. In the same series, in the same link, okay. Find the odd numbers. You have one odd number here, two odd number here, three odd numbers here. So three buys. Keep in mind, this is also an odd number, but this guy is a winner. Winner is not a buy, obviously. So definitely, the number of buys is three. In fact, you can also find out in which round you gave a buy. So round one, round two, round three, round four. As you can see up as well, round four we had one buy. Okay. So basically, in round four you gave one buy, in round five you gave one buy, and round six you gave one buy, and that's how this functions precisely. And that's knockout tournaments for you. So you got six marks in snap, or maybe a three mark in cat. Okay. Um, three into three, basically, because there are three questions, the nine marks in cat, in a matter of 
3 seconds or maybe 6 seconds all right hope you had fun watching this video keep keep posting in the comment about what videos do you want me to make thank you very much hope you have a great time ahead preparing for cat all the best for your examinations